Hello there lovely people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I'll be reviewing, not reviewing, I'll be putting up a list of summer fragrances. As you can tell from title, it's going to be 15 uh, summer night out fragrances, okay? Um, summer day and nights are kind of different, okay? And I will tell you the theme, whole theme of this fragrance uh, list is um, the fragrance that I basically wore. And from my experience, I'm suggesting this. I think they work fantastic in high heat. But not when the sun is up. When the sun goes down right from evening all the way to late night, past midnight these are excellent fragrances for summer and i think they are very underrated in on most part they won't people won't talk about those so i'm trying not to show you some mainstream ones but there are some known ones but many of them are underrated and uh, some of you would be like thinking for summer we only use freshies you know not necessarily you know like i feel some of the fragrances do really well which are sweet warm spicy you'll be thinking these are good for winter but they also do great in uh, summer too so i will go no honorable mentions i'll I have reviewed all of them and I'll talk very briefly on each so you get some idea. So first fragrance I'm going to show you. Uh, this fragrance is an excellent night out, clubbing or even if you go out with your friends partying. And this is Rasas's Enteba for Men. This is basically, as you guys all know, this is a clone of uh, Silver Mountain Water by Creed. There's also um, Always Someday, which is also fantastic. But I feel that one daytime wearing is good. This one has some extra sweetness and got that uh, champagne accord which is very sweet and the fragrance afterwards turns to this floral metallic cooling still remains sweet and i think there's some berry notes perhaps uh, i don't know i remember but it's just so beautiful if you like hawas uh, this is basically a lot more sweeter than hawas if you're asking if i should wear this or hawas i would say wear this because the sweetness it will last and project a lot more hawas is good for daytime you can also wear hawas but today i'm not showing you that one enteba rasasi it's a really outstanding fragrance a beautiful bottle and this has excellent longevity number 14 i will go with this fragrance a classic nostalgic fragrance called versace blue jeans out of all the jeans that's uh, they're all gone like this one and red jeans for women are available in market uh, if you never tried it, try it. You know, this fragrance can be very unique. I really like this. It's an outstanding, I think there's a heliotrope note. When I was in university college, I used to have backup bottles of it. Not really backup. I finish one, then I buy another one. So I went to like three to four bottles of this stuff. And these are more affordable Versace fragrance. Beautiful blue juice and amazing bottle, okay? These fragrances, do not ignore them. If you see them in UK, sometimes they are discounted sites for very affordable price tag. Uh, this fragrance, it's really long-lasting. It has this fizzy cola vibe that I also get from Hugo Boss. Deep blue, I think. But in one of the most unique fragrances, hands down. You know, this perfume, you got to wear it to understand. It's extremely long-lasting for nighttime. And if you have it on your neck, on your shirt combined, it will really do justice. So it's kind of like a pre savage era for blue fragrances. Outstanding perfume. Versace Blue Jeans number 14. Number 13 is a fragrance I wore a lot during my university days and I remember my sister gave it to me once, uh, 60 ml as a gift for birthday and then I bought my another bottle and uh, this fragrance nowadays not many people talk about it. This line uh, from House of Carolina Herrera, this is called 212 VIP Men. Um, some of you will know those who lived in this era. This is very sweet. This has got this vodka note. It got this kind of a the magnetic top and this fragrance was very popular and top seller when it came out that time this one one million they ruled the market and i'm bringing this back why i'll tell you i'm not showing you one million one million also is great for summer nights but this perfume served me so well when you actually go out in clubbing you know like we used to go clubbing once in a while you know like we were university kids right so we'd go with our friends we just dance sweat a lot you know like in that clubbing scenario you will sweat a lot so Obviously, after a while, you'll not smell this anymore. But actually, when you come out next day, your shirt actually smells like it. Excellent longevity. Got this passion fruit in it as well. So very playful, boozy, sweet, fresh perfume, which is great for night out. Still, I would recommend this. It still can have it. Check out this fragrance. Smell it sometimes. You know, I'm not saying go blind by. But night out, this fragrance served me well. A lot of memories. 2 on to VIP. Man by Carolina Herrera. After that, number 12. I think yeah, number 12 is a fragrance. Some of you will be shocked. Why are you shocked? Because this perfume actually I always recommend for winter time. Uh, this is a good, uh, sweet, uh, peppery fragrance. Very long lasting for winter. But I'll tell you what, summer nights this fragrance does well. If you're really sweating a lot, again, same scenario as clubbing. This fragrance called Salvatore Ferragamo F Black or F Black Purom. Confusing name, F Black, basically F Black. This perfume got this green apple. Some people call this uh, dupe of Chanel Alurum. Okay, that the uh, legendary, the original Alurum, 
there is definite some similarity between this perilis m on the dry down that is similar to chanel Alurum. but do not buy this as chanel Alurum clone this fragrance some people say this is similar to lanuidolum i will not call this a clone of lanuidolum but this can be better than lanuidolum in terms of pricing longevity definitely beats lanuidolum by far it got this some black pepper green apples and i think lavender and a lot of sweet notes this fragrance basically projects and lasts a lot if you sweat try it out nighttime summer it serves me well give it a try there's no harm right uh, salvatore ferragamo f black number 12 then we hit top 10 okay number 12 is a fragrance i put them according to my liking it's called cristiano ronaldo legacy i think this is called private edition okay this fragrance i bought somewhere last year i think beautiful packaging comes with this uh, magnetic top which is very very strong blue bottle okay and it's a very one of a kind fragrance okay celebrity fragrances you hardly get this kind of uniqueness in a perfume uh, if you're not liking sweet fragrances that much perhaps you can skip it it got this maple sap and i think it has this something peppery quality but it smells very distinguishable it's like so sweet man this fragrance it's literally like lovely if this was a dior or chanel release it would sell like hot cake such an underrated perfume um, this one I wore at night time and I really feel this fragrance does hang on to your shirt as much as Dylan Blue does, okay? But not the same fragrance, just talking about the quality. This is an excellent night out fragrance for me. You can also wear this in winter time, but daytime it'd be too sweet, okay? If there's no sun, check out this fragrance, okay? Christian Ronaldo Legacy Private Edition. I'll write down the names. After that fragrance, you know, you are being actually surprised by the entries. You'll be like explaining, where is my Prada Lom? Where is my... Uh, Dior Sauvage Aventus, they are not here. Next fragrance is called Zarius Rouge by Givenchy. This bottle, I have massive respect for this perfume. This is similar to sort of like in a way David of Hot Water, which I also have, which is kind of like a warm vanilla, kind of spicy, kind of got this boozy vibe. This actually is a better fragrance than Hot Water. In, in terms of smell, I got this cactus note or something like it, I don't remember. But it has this... Uh, warmth about it and it's very mysterious it reminds me of vampire diaries you know like kind of like a spooky night out and uh, summer nights this fragrance has actually if your skin warms up this fragrance projects a lot so i think it's this discontinued at this point i'm not sure but getting rare if you never tried it get 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 this fragrance you know like Zarius rouge is one unique perfume and if you can find this i would suggest you can also go with where is my uh, hot water at i have it still yeah I remember having it. This fragrance, you can still have it, but go with this darker side. This is also as good. Beautiful fragrance, but uh, if you can find the Zarius Rouge, go for that. David, I'll write down the name. So now, next one, I'm going to show you a fragrance I bought a couple of months back. If you actually like Green Irish Tweed, this is the best clone and better than original stuff. Why? I'll tell you. This is called Laventure Night by Al Haramein. These are more expensive in this line. Laventure is a bit more affordable than this but this fragrance it's a little bit more money like in bangladesh it's like 75 dollars uh if you find a tester it will be a bit less but try to look for 55 bucks that's an ideal price for it the bottle i'm not a very big fan of you know that's like too fat but this fragrance that lemon verbena you know like oh man this is very hard to take off with oh man sometimes it gets stuck yeah man i'm already tired <laughs> I'm just kidding. This fragrance has that grassy green, you know, like that uh, vetiver vibe that you also get from Green Eye Street, but a lot more wearable, a lot more modern. And I think there's a Marc Jacobs bang sort of spices in it. Very piercing. And if you wear this nighttime, if you were uh, in a suit, and if someone asks you, say you were wearing Green Eye Street, nobody, nobody can do it. Nobody will detect you, you know, nobody would say complain about, you know, it's that good, you know. <laughs> Lavender Night by Al Haramein. Excellent fragrance. Check out my review. After that, surprise, surprise, you know, like all more or less darker, isn't it? This fragrance is mild, dark, but sweet. Very interesting. It has, I think, a little bit leather. Check out my review. I don't remember all of the notes, but Hugo Boss Bottle EDP. This hands down was the best fragrance I bought last year. I think, I think, yeah, last year. So good, guys. I mean, you know, people nowadays, when they hear designer house name, they automatically like turn off, you know, like, hey, Hugo Boss, no, no that's the stuff I don't like. It's like, it's my pastime, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm past, you know, that era, you know, I don't wear Hugo Boss no more. Smell this if you're a simple man, you know, I, I don't mean it in a meme way, like I am a simple man, I see, I do, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, a little bit naughty. But, you know, ah, this coming back to fragrance, yes. This fragrance, it's so unique. 
it doesn't smell like Hugo Boss bottle at all. It's a totally new perfume, okay? And Hugo Boss bottle line provided many, many gems. I have one more in this lineup, but check this out. It's one of the signature scent worthy for nighttime. Extremely long lasting, beautiful perfume, Hugo Boss bottled, EDP. Check out my review. I gave it very high score. After that, a popular choice. This is an obvious one, but nobody talks about this one anymore. I just love it, love it, love it. Hollier. It's a fantastic perfume. It's a masterpiece. This is called Dolce & Gabbana, the one EDT. Among all the flankers that I have, I had reviewed, I think, seven or eight. I think more or less. Or more. I don't remember. This perfume stands out to me. You know, this smells like the Godfather straight up. Beautiful. You guys know. It has that ginger. It got that tropical sweetness. Ah, that tobacco. Cigar. Havana cigar. Amber. This fragrance, people mostly complain about the longevity. I have no issue with the longevity. It projects fine. It lasts long on me. High heat situation, it projects a lot. It comes out sort of like a coconutty tonka in the daytime, but nighttime, sweet. This fragrance is just lovely. If you're going out on a date on summer night, I suggest you wear this. Just go heavy on the sprayer. I think, let's say, if you have 150 ml bottle, just go eight sprays. It will be beautiful. And if he's holding your hand, you're just taking a walk down the alley. This is the ideal fragrance I can think of. Dolce & Gabbana, the one EDT. Stunning masterpiece. Then, the fragrance I'm wearing for the scent of the night. I'll tell you, nobody's talking about this fragrance anymore. Get this. It may be a little bit spotty on the longevity. Just go heavy on the shirt. Uh, it will last long. This is called Kenneth Cole RSVP. Okay. Um, this fragrance I reviewed, like, I think one month back or so. You must have this perfume. You must try this fragrance. At least try it. So unique. Got this beautiful sweetness. Oh, I think there's a... Is there a iris i don't remember there's this beautiful amber pink pepper kind of like this mix going on uh, it's cozy it's sweet it's woody and i think there's like a fruity vibe going on maybe mandarin orange and also i feel like there's a pink pepper and then pink berry sort of like a red fruits vibe going on you know it's like a slushy such a stunning fragrance you know like i'm just talking about fragrance that i really love okay rsvp is one of them kenneth cole check it out on summer's night so you have five left Okay, next one is perhaps one of the most mainstream ones I have to include. This fragrance is a no-brainer. If you want performance, just go with it. It's affordable. It's long-lasting. It's a known DNA. This is called Armaf Aventus, right? That's what people are making jokes about. This is Club New Intense Man, the EDT version, France, made in France. I thought I would never buy this again. I recent times just got a bottle. And I just felt like, you know, I have a lot of these Aventus-inspired Aventus fragrance, including Aventus. But for some reason, I miss this DNA, especially the dry down is so sexy, you know. It's smoky, got this leathery vibe of Aventus. It's a little bit dirty, that lemon pledge opening, I'm not really a big fan of. But nowadays, it's getting better. EDP, perfume, oil. But Sydney, Summer Nights, just trusted, buddy. I'm just showing you this one. I can show any of the other ones, but this one is my today's pick. Club New Intense Man by Armoff. Okay, next fragrance is the fragrance I decided to do, th do this list for. This name inspired me to do this list okay very special fragrance it's a bit mature and it's very different this is called hugo boss's boss bottle night i have a massive 200 ml look at that beautiful bottle blue dark night theme right blue sky is a little bit like full moon or half moon and it's dark you know why boss bottle night is here okay if you never smell this this smells like nothing from the boss line you know boss bottle line it got this peppery quality Okay, I think there's a lot of violets, a lot of woody notes. I don't know what woody notes in there. I mean, I don't remember exactly. Like some sort of uh, woody notes in there. It's just simple. Spicy, uh, peppery. Spicy, peppery, same thing. Violets and woody. Okay. And this fragrance is massive. You know, longevity and projection. I think perhaps an older bottle I have. But any batch you get, nice fragrance. Okay. But it's a little bit different. Less sweet, less spicy, more... Um, woody and the spicy mix sort of going on and got this nighttime vibe okay beautiful fragrance if you are going to dress up one of the best sellers from this line okay hugo boss bottle night after that let's talk about fragrance which i love in winter but i also love in the warmer nights this fragrance lasts and just smells a little bit more powdery but i like it pure heaven by theory mugler Get it while you can. Right now, you can still have this under $80, $85. It's going high. It's getting rare. I have a backup bottle. I'll perhaps get one more. This and Pure Malt, two of my favorites. But Pure Malt, I will never wear in summer. It's just so gross in the summertime. Pure Heaven, there's something about it. The cherry, tobacco, kind of got this uh, sweetness, you know, an original Thierry Mugler, patchouli. But that Cuban Havana cigar, same thing like Dolce & Gabbana, the 180D I showed just now. This fragrance works. It's better performer as well. 
great night out fragrance very high class formal fragrance okay you might think like oh theory mugler formal yes this one you can dress it up dress it down smells amazing masculine very grown-up expensive smelling perfume theory mugler pure heaven <clears throat> two more left let's go with this one pakura upon one million this is called perfume um there's a new one elixir out i haven't tried it but what's so great about this this is actually like has this uh, sun vibe you know like a daytime uh, one million ish vibe you can call this like a powdery kind of like a fresh uh, one million lucky ish but it's got this power solar power at night time so it shines it has sweetness it has freshness and it's one of the most underrated perfumes and one of the underrated flankers really good uh, i just love this a lot this fragrance it's a bit simple but i think this one has extreme potency so if you're going out clubbing this is the new one million for summer okay check it out this is one million perfume Last but not least, let's go with a little bit of oud. I know you guys are scared of oud. This is not that kind of oud. This is kind of oud that gets compliments, wearable, sweet, and mainstream-like. And if you like oud for greatness, this is the best clone of that, one of them anyway. This is called Supremacy in Oud by Afnan. This is their upper-class line, more expensive, okay? But if you ask me, if you should look into this because the bottles do not look the most premium, I would say go for the juice. Two sprays of this. You will forget about Oud for Greatness. Yes, Oud for Greatness is good, but check out the price tag difference between these two, okay? And this is a no-brainer. I smell this on the brother who actually sold it to me, and I was mesmerized. He was literally like 20, 30 feet away. I could smell his fragrance in the hallway, okay? That good. Extremely beautiful perfume, Supreme Sin Oud. Man, it's sweet. It doesn't smell like Oud, to be honest. It's just such a uh, Middle Eastern sort of a Middle Eastern eastern mist meets west you know like a fantastic beast mode fragrance okay this one is my last suggestion for night out if you want longevity and projection for summer this can be your weapon you know secret weapon supreme as by afnan those are my 15 fragrances what do you think of them what are your suggestions what do you wear in summer nights let others know and hopefully you enjoy this content please uh if possible give a subscribe you know hit that subscribe button and then give me a like it will help me uh, grow my channel and do a lot more work Take care. Have a nice day. I'll see you soon. Stay fresh and stay safe. Bye-bye.